The first LTS since Java 21 just dropped, Java 25. And if you're still one of those people typing Java is dead under every single tweet, well, it's outlived just about everything that's tried to replace it. And it just keeps getting better. Java 24 was all about raw speed. Java 25 is about cleaning house. Java just got simpler. It cut boilerplate, slimmed down the runtime, and finally fixed things that used to make your code look like you're filling out a tax form. And I know, if we can't make fun of Java's verbosity, then what can we make fun of? It's gonna be a missed pastime. And since it's LTS, for all of you enterprises that have made it out of Java 8, but into Java 11, it, you can finally come out of your bunker. Because we know you've been hiding in there even through 17 and 21, but 25, just come on out. It's okay. Get up to speed with modern Java. Compact source files and instant main methods. Remember trying to teach someone Java and having to explain public static void main string args before you could even print hello world? And by the time you got through it, they've already defected to Python? Well, Java 25 finally fixes that. No explicit class, no ceremony, just code as it should be. This finalizes what started as simple source files over four previews. You even get the new java.lang.io helper and automatic imports from Java base. Or in other words, beginners can finally start writing code instead of, you know, performing ancient rituals to the whatever of boilerplate. <laughs> Flexible constructor bodies. Constructors used to be like that one boss who demanded you turn in paperwork before you even sat down. Java forced you to call super or this as the very first thing. You wanna validate, you wanna throw an exception? No, can't do that. You gotta effectively fill out this form first. Now you can actually do useful work before chaining. It's cleaner, saner, and doesn't have you scratching your head wondering why is this illegal Java code? Primitive types and patterns, instance of, and switch. Third preview. Java's pattern matching keeps leveling up. We got records, sealed classes, object patterns, and now finally, primitives. No more boxing dance, just switch on the actual primitives. Still preview, still behind enable preview, but it means fewer instance of integer checks and less feeling like you're writing Java 1.2 code. Scoped values, which is finalized, and structured concurrency, fifth preview. So two loom features graduate. Scoped values, now final, are like thread local, but without memory leaks. And maybe some career ending production bugs, couldn't be me. Perfect for stuff like request IDs or auth tokens when you're spawning virtual threads everywhere. And structured concurrency, still in preview, is the nicest way yet to wrangle spawn three tasks and cancel on failure logic without your code base looking like spaghetti spilled on a stack trace. Memory and GC compact object headers and generational Shenandoah. This is the boring but important stuff that'll actually save you real money. What compact object headers means is that you can shrink object headers from 12 bytes to eight, which may not sound crazy, it does to me, but if, just to emphasize this point, think of this across millions of objects and you're able to reclaim all of that real heap space. That means less RAM, less dollars to AWS. You just gotta flip on this. And generational Shenandoah is finally production ready. And you use this, which allows you to get better young old separation with fewer garbage collection pauses. Fewer pauses, not no pauses, but fewer pauses. Or in other words, your microservices stop hiccuping every time they allocate a string. Profiling warmup, AOT method profiling and JFR upgrades. Project laden continues with startup and warmup performance. So AOT method profiling, you run your app once with profiling, stash the info in a cache, then you can reuse it on startup. The JIT is able to just kind of hit the ground running instead of taking like a warmup lap. And JFR upgrades include new toys like cooperative sampling, method timing, method trace, and even CPU time profiling on Linux. Or in other words, when production melts at 2 a.m., you actually have a chance of finding the problem before the VP finds you. A chance, nothing certain here. Crypto and formats, KDF and PEM. Now the security people get their turn. The KDF API is a proper standard API for key derivation. No more copy pasting questionable crypto code from Stack Overflow, if any of y'all still use Stack Overflow. 
And PEM encoding is preview support for reading, writing, PEM certs and keys, which means finally no more third-party library just to parse a cert. Module import declarations and vector API. Modules, at the very least, just got a little easier to teach. Yes, this is a real thing now. It's like import, but for whole modules. Will it save Java modules? No, but it'll make demos suck less. And the vector API is still incubating, if you will, in round 10. It's not flashy by any means, but it does give you SIMD ops without dropping to JNI. So if you're doing numerics or signal processing or ML in Java, you may want to keep an eye on this. Java 25 has 18 JEPs total. We hit the headliners, the most important according to me, but there's also a lot of AOT ergonomics, more JFR events, and the official funeral for 32-bit x86. And if that affects you, because you're still running 32-bit in 2025, I don't know what's wrong. Who hurt you? So that's it. Java just got Simpler, less boilerplate, cleaner constructors, pattern matching that doesn't make you cry, real garbage collection wins, profiling that actually helps, and beginner-friendly code, for the most part, that won't scare new devs off to some silly language like Python or Go. And again, very importantly, it is an LTS, which means you can finally ship it to prod without your architecture review board staging an intervention. So if you're on Java 8, Java 11, Java 17, Java 21, whatever, just Java 25 is better than all of those. So come on, get to work. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next one. And if you're an experienced software engineer looking to brush up your skills on your language or learn a new language, check out codecrafters.io using my link for 40% off. Maybe you want to learn more Java. Maybe you want to learn C Sharp or Kotlin, which are great Java alternatives, or Zig and Rust. Rust is somewhere up here. Rust up here. You do things like build your own shell or build your own Redis or Kafka or grep. You can take a look at their GitHub and actually see all of this code for free. Or if you are going to pay and follow along, you can use my link, which is in the description to get 40% off.